okay, here's the program. I, I created the program, or the label, and nice label is what we use mainly here. Uh, you can create it, use it on any of your programs that you have. So I created your label, and right now I am set to print out 30 uh, labels. So I'm going to just click print, and the sender now. First label gets a little extra on there. After that, as you can see, we're getting consistent feeding, printing of the labels. What is that? We have the cutter on the end here, and we have an exit nip roller right here that's actually forcing or, or pulling that label so it does not stick and want to carry through along with the, uh, the ribbon here. Normally you would have a cutter stacker on here so it would be able to stack these labels up, but right now I'm just showing you because we only have the standard cutter available here for this demo purpose. There's the 30 labels, no issues, does not feed through. With that, here is one of the key things, it has this nip roller here, so after the printing it goes through another nip roller which then feeds it through the cutting unit. So you avoid having the, the material want to carry up along here with the ribbon. The rest of the printer is standard uh, thermal transfer printer. You have your 8 inch max rolled stock. If you want more than that you can put an external unwind on there. Your ribbon is coming through. Either This, this printer will handle ribbon winds either way. I'm printing with a high quality resin ribbon or high temp resin ribbon. And then here's a sample right here of the label that I uh, printed out for you. Uh, we're printing at a lower temperature, burning over where we're nice. I did add in two different types, a one-dimensional and two-dimensional barcode just to show that it could do that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. This is the, uh, the A4T textile printer uh, for printing textile materials that are very thin. Uh, works fantastic and you can even use it with the program that you have out there right now.